Welcome back, everyone, and thank you for watching this technical analysis video here at XM.com. It's Thursday, December 2nd, and WTI, all futures are on your screen today. Uh, well, November has been a quite bearish month for oil. Actually, the price faced the largest decline since March 2020, falling by 18% towards a three-month low of 64.42 reached last Tuesday. And now the question that arises at this point is whether December could be more generous to the market and whether we'll see the price rallying again before the year end. Uh, well, technically, although the market had um, a negative start to the month yesterday, uh, there's an increasing potential for an upside reversal, uh, particularly if we look at the RSI, um, the indicator has stopped making uh, lower lows and it seems that is currently forming a bullish a double bottom uh, formation around its uh, 30 oversold level. Uh, the stochastics are also in the oversold area already and the price itself has been uh, constantly closing below the uh, lower Bollinger Band for the past couple of sessions. Um, so that could be a sign that uh, sellers are probably taking the back seat but uh, for the current positive momentum to uh, last longer the price will need to, will probably need to close above the 78.6 percent fibonacci of the uplink from 61.77 to uh to the eight year seven year high of 85.39 uh, this is at 66.88 um if that proves uh successful then we may move towards the 61.8 percent fibonacci of 69.33 uh, and the 200-day moving average uh, slightly above. Uh, at this point, it's also worth it to note that if we switch to the four-hour chart, uh, the price here uh, seems to be making, um, seems to be creating a bullish double bottom formation, and with the neckline uh, seen around 69.33. So uh, that area could, uh, so any break above this area could prove more important for uh, the bullish momentum to uh, continue in the coming sessions. Uh, now back. To Back on the daily chart, if uh, if the rally extends beyond 69.33, then we may see uh, a sharper uh, rally towards the 50% uh, Fibonacci of 73.62. Uh, well, um, looking at the bigger, looking at the medium picture, uh, such a progress wouldn't do much to change uh, this uh, neutral outlook over here, but. Um, uh, unless, of course, the price accelerates beyond the uh, seven-year high of. Um, uh, 85.39. Uh, now on the flip side, it would only need a step below the um, the Ocasol of 61.77 to downgrade the medium-term outlook to bearish. In which case, uh, the sell-off could become more aggressive, uh, likely driving the price down and towards the key support of uh, 57.25, taken from um, last seen uh, back in uh, back in March 2021. So overall, uh, negative risks uh, remain in the market, uh, but probably um, those could fade in the near term as oversold, as oversold signals seem to be strengthening. Uh, in the short term picture, we'll need to see a close above 66.88 to gain extra buying confidence, while a move above 69.33 uh, may pro will probably attract a greater attention. So uh, that's all for WTI All Futures today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.